up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another video for you. However, this one's a little bit different. On another channel of mine, I've uploaded two videos in the past that both have to do with fixing windows and overall they've amassed a whopping 4.3 million views over the past four or five years. However, since three years have passed since my previous one, it's time to make an update. Since then, I've moved all of my tech supporty stuff over to this channel. So without further ado, you and I both know why you're here. So this is a general fix for Windows when it can't start up. In my experience, it's fixed the Windows loading screen staying there forever, infinite restarts, and a black screen after the Windows loading screen. However, if you're having a different startup problem, this is likely to fix it as well. If you get lost anywhere during this video, you can pause it and turn on closed captions. So what we need to do first is get to the Windows startup repair screen. There's a few ways of doing this. When starting up your computer, keep pressing the F11 button every second or so, starting right after you hit the power button until you see the Windows 10 advanced startup options. If you can't get that to work, after two or three failed restarts, you'll get put on the screen automatically. So if worst comes to worst, you can pull the power cable. If you're on a laptop, you can remove the battery and then the power cable. And if you can't remove the battery, you can hold the power button for a few seconds until the screen goes black. Either way, you should now see a screen in front of you that says preparing automatic repair. And if you do, great. If you see a screen saying that your PC did not start correctly, simply hit advanced options. When asked to choose an option, we'll click troubleshoot and then we'll click advanced options. If you don't know what caused your issue, then stay on this screen. However, if the issue started happening after installing something or changing a setting, you can click startup settings and then click restart. Once it restarts, you'll see a screen with a list of options. You can press number four, which is enable safe mode. If you need access to the internet, you can try number five, though if the issue is bad enough, it might not boot using option five, so stick to option four. In this mode, you should be able to access Windows and undo whatever caused the issue. Then you can restart and your computer will start up as per normal. Otherwise, if you're not sure what caused the issue, click a command prompt. If you're asked to select a user account and put in a password, do so. When you see a black box like this, where it ends with cmd.exe, simply type C colon and hit enter. Then type dir and hit enter. And because Windows can sometimes label drives differently here, C drive might not be the same place as Windows as it usually is. If you don't see the program files folder or the Windows folder, then you're probably not on the correct disk. In this case, type in disk part, one word, and hit enter. Then type in list space volume and hit enter. Then hold control and hit Z and hit enter once again. If you know the size or the name of your main hard disk with Windows on it, you can find the drive letter to the left of it. All you need to do is simply repeat the previous steps of typing in said drive letter and hitting enter. So for example, D colon and hitting enter. Then type in DIR and make sure that you're on the right drive. Now, of course, because the D is my DVD drive, it came up with this. However, keep going through each and every drive letter here until you eventually see program files and the Windows folder. Once you're on the right disk, before we get into the real confusing things, we'll see if Windows can repair itself. If you've already run these commands, then you can skip this step. So we'll be typing in chkdsk, which is check disk, space, the letter of the drive. So for me, it's C colon, space, forward slash F. Then we'll hit enter. And if it gives you a message like this, simply hit Y and press enter. Then it'll go through every file on the disk and check for any damages that it can automatically repair. Once this is done, we can type in B-O-O-T-R-E-C, boot rec for boot records, space, forward slash, fix, M-B-R, one word, and we'll hit enter. Then you'll see the operation was completed successfully. We'll type in boot rec once more, space, forward slash, fix boot, and hit enter. Next, we'll be typing in a boot rec, space, forward slash, rebuild, B, C, D, and hit enter. Once that's done, we'll see a message that looks like this, and then we'll type in B, C, D, boot, one word, space, the letter of the drive, so for me it's C, colon, backslash, windows, space, forward slash, S, space, and then the drive letter again, so C, colon, and then we'll hit enter. And then you can see boot files successfully created. From this point, we'll type in exit and hit enter. When we get back to the screen over here, we'll choose turn off your PC and then we'll go ahead and press the power button to turn it back on. 
So hopefully you're able to get past where you're stuck and you'll see your familiar login screen where you can put in your details and continue with your day. Assuming you're still having issues, we'll restart the computer again, pressing F11 every few seconds right after pressing the power button yet again. And of course, if that doesn't work, you can press the power button a couple of times, see this screen and click advanced options. Now we should all be back on this page over here. So we'll return to the troubleshoot screen, advanced options, and back to command prompt. So here's where things get a little bit confusing. So pause the video if necessary and closed captions are enabled. From here, we'll type in the drive letter again. In my case, it's C colon, and we'll hit enter. And we'll type in DIR once again, and make sure that the program files folder and the windows folders are present. After we're sure we're in the right place, we'll type in CD space backslash windows backslash system 32 one word backslash config and we'll hit enter. Now we're going to make a backup of the settings here before we do anything else. So to do that, we'll type in MD space backup and hit enter to make a backup folder. If you've done this step before, then put a one or something unique right after it without a space. Then we'll type in copy space star dot star space the name of the folder we just made, which in my case is backup. Then we'll hit enter and it will back up all of our files. Of course, if you need to roll back the step sometime in the future, you can check the description down below for a link to that. Then we'll type in CD space R-E-G-B-A-C-K and we'll hit enter. Then we'll type in D-I-R once again and hit enter. Now you should see a list of files much like this. However, this is what it's telling me. Yours will look something more like this. If any of the numbers here are zero, then the odds of this working are low, but you're still welcome to try it. So we'll type in copy space star dot star space dot dot and we'll hit enter. Of course, because this folder is empty, it said that it cannot find the file specified. When you see a message asking you about overwriting, simply type A and hit enter. Once it's complete, we'll type in exit and hit enter. Once again, we'll click the turn off your PC button and we'll go ahead and start it up. Now, of course, booting up Windows this time or the previous times may take longer than usual. However, give it some time and avoid turning off the power if possible. Once it's done, you should be presented with this logon screen once again, and you can continue with your day as usual. So of course, if this video helped you, make sure to bookmark it in case you ever need it again in the future. Leave a like and comment down below with your thoughts. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.